Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Fergani with Kins 5 News now on this Thursday, September 1st. New details about migrants being run down when they tried to escape possibly from coyotes. Police say the migrants were being held at a motel on South Presa and somehow a few of them got away. They started running down the road. That's when whomever was holding them chased them down with a vehicle and two people were hit. It then turned into a shooting. Two people were taken to the hospital. New details on one of the suspects accused in the deadly human smuggling attempt in the city's southwest side. A judge denied bond for Christian Martinez. He's charged in the death of 53 migrants found in the back of an abandoned tractor trailer back in June. He's been in custody since originally charged. His attorney asked for Martinez to be released due to health issues. Another city is added to the list. Governor Abbott now sending asylum seekers from Texas to Chicago. The first bus of migrants arrived in the sanctuary city last night. It is the third major city that Governor Abbott has transported migrants to after New York and Washington, D.C. Chicago's mayor condemned Governor Abbott's actions, calling them, quote, immoral and unpatriotic. A banned teacher is arrested, accused of sharing child pornography to Snapchat. Arrest records showed Mark Mallow, a teacher at Woodlake Hills Middle School in Judson ISD, shared five pornographic files to Snapchat, including the video of a small boy. If convicted, he could be sentenced to up to 20 years in prison. And we reached out to Judson ISD for a statement on this. They say the employee was immediately placed on administrative leave and the district is working with the attorney general's office right now. Closing arguments are set for this morning in the trial of former Bear County Constable Michelle Barrientas Vela. She pleaded not guilty to tampering with evidence. Now this all stems from an incident on Easter Sunday in 2019 at Rodriguez Park on the city's west side. Prosecutors allege Barrientes Vela demanded that a man pay money for security for a family event in a park pavilion. Her defense attorney says the ex-constable was simply enforcing the law at the park. Closing arguments start at 1030 this morning. Governor Abbott has broken his silence about the proposal to ban 18 to 20 year olds from semi-automatic rifles, which had the support of Uvalde victims' families. Governor Abbott called it unconstitutional. The idea had some bipartisan support in the Capitol as well, but it probably won't get anywhere without the governor's endorsement. Brett Cross's son, Usaya, died in the Robb Elementary shooting. He and others say they are not giving up. So don't sit there and act like you're for the people, that you're for the parents, that you're for the children because you don't give a damn. Make a liar out of me. Call a special session. In his statement, Governor Abbott cited three recent court decisions, each a blow to anti-gun advocates. Two of those rulings could change on appeal. The third, a Supreme Court decision that had nothing to do with age restrictions. We're learning more about a dangerous new trend. The DEA says it is seeing more rainbow fentanyl. The pills and powder come in bright colors, shapes and sizes to attract young people. This month alone, law enforcement has seized rainbow fentanyl in 18 states. Drug poisonings are the leading killer of Americans between the ages of 18 and 45. Trending online now, all eyes on Serena Williams after she pulled off another win, putting off potential retirement for at least a couple of more days. She announced her retirement plans last month and last night in New York, a record crowd showed up for the U.S. Open. Serena's 23 Grand Slam titles already set a record. She takes her next step toward 24 this Friday. Meteorologist Paul Morales right now with your forecast. All right, let's take a look outside. I'm expecting mostly cloudy skies. It's going to be a hot day today. High 93, heat index about 96 or so. Slim chance of showers, I think, through in the daylight hours. But this evening, better chance of showers and storms, about a 30 to 40 percent chance. And that's a wrap of Kins 5 News. Now, thanks so much for joining us. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us online. I'm Sarah Fergani. I'll see you tomorrow.